I want to talk to you about um, these gadgets you use because it is entertaining to, on a daily basis to go out there and see, well, all right, what gadget is Delino using today? You've got the tennis racket, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's not called gadgets now today. Back, back when I first started, they called it gadgets, but now it's, it's innovative. You're being innovative. Everybody's being innovative. So uh, I guess I was just a little bit ahead of my time. But I, I, to me, baseball is so monotonous. Um, in general, that you know, I just feel like I've, I have to find a way to keep things fresh for the guys. You know what I mean? And uh, and you never know what's going to help a young kid improve. You know, it may be uh, this thing or that thing or wh whatever it is. But you know, just to kind of keep it fresh, being that baseball is just so monotonous, and I feel like it's it's worked over the years for me. Now I love the tennis racket. Now this is just not a tennis racket to play tennis. This is a reinforced tennis racket for baseball, right? Yes. Where did that start? What do you get out of it? Well, it started because I sucked at hitting fungos, honestly. I'm just going to be honest. You know, when I, when I first started hitting the fungo, I was like, man, what is this thing? You know what I mean? And I, I joke with Freddie all the time. I, I tell him that guys who are great fungo hitters couldn't hit. You know, they <laughs> couldn't hit for you, real. You couldn't hit a hit a real baseball. So that's just my little inside joke with Freddie. But yeah, that's that's honestly that's where it started. I, I really stunk at hitting fungos, and I had to find something that I could uh, just be efficient with and, and get the work done. So I, I started doing a little research, and I found these rackets, and I've been using them ever since. The long hours. How do you balance that with family? Wow, that's it's tough. Being away from your family yeah. a lot, you know, is, is really tough. But um, like I said, uh, my wife, my kids, they, they're all very, very supportive mm -hmm. of what I do. Thank God, you know what I mean? And uh, But but music has also played a big part for me. Yeah. You know, um, like I said, a lot of coaches, and, and it requires that, that amount of time and effort, you know, to be really good at, at this job. But I feel like you have to have something else to break it up, you know what I mean? And music has always been that thing for me, so that's that's been a big part of it. All right, let's talk about this music now. I, I didn't know your <laughs> musical background, and I'm gonna tell a little story here. When we go on the road, we check into a hotel. They're nice hotels, and certain hotels will have a piano in the lobby or somewhere where we're checking in. And so we're checking in, and then all of a sudden I hear, wow, that's pretty, someone's playing piano. That's They got a piano player to welcome us in here go around the corner and lo and behold it's you sitting at the piano yeah. playing some pretty music original stuff yeah. where did it start and are you self-taught you're self-taught I am not a musician I am not a musician I I, I call myself a um, I guess the term would be a beat maker you know what I mean I just I just know how to make things sound good uh, but as far as playing the piano I've been trying to play the piano now for about 20 years Never had any lessons, just just started pecking on it and playing and you know it's evolved to the day where I can actually play a few chords and put it together and make it sound pretty decent. 